Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to From the Depths Most Wanted and today we're going to be looking at the Crossbones which is currently the biggest and arguably the meanest ship in the Deepwater Guard faction. Now, some of you might be wondering, water-wise, why are you covering anything from the Deepwater Guard? Most Wanted should be about ships which are actually dangerous. I mean, come on, the thing's mostly made of wood, what are you doing? Well, from the perspective of someone new to this game, this particular ship, in fact any kind of godly design, tends to come as a very nasty surprise out of nowhere, so for those of you who are veteran players of From the Depths and are used to tangling with the Steel Striders and the Great Talons, and especially the Scarlet Dawn, you don't, I don't know, you probably won't need this video, the Crossbones isn't the most dangerous ship in the game, but for those of you who are just starting out, this might be helpful, because the Crossbones certainly gave me an interesting surprise when I first found it, after update 2.02. .02. And to give you an idea of how dangerous this thing is, my other video in From the Depths Most Wanted on the Bulwark, the Bulwark, well, it was pointed out to me that the Bulwark was given lambs possibly because of this thing. So, because I remember testing the Bulwark against the Crossbones after the big update happened, and, uh, this thing destroyed the bulwark. It was no contest at all. But, how to kill this thing? Well, the good news is is that it's a deep water guard design, meaning this, you have a lot more freedom in how to kill this. But before we go into that, let's go over this thing's strengths. And on screen right now is one of its major strengths. It has guns, really big guns. We show here these are all roughly well 1585 millimeter cannons all four of these turrets are pretty much the same incidentally I'm more I'm, I think it's a deliberate thing on my part to make things look good in my fleet colors because mm -hmm, yummy that's a good-looking ship so it has 12 of these 1585 millimeter guns and these are all high explosive timed fused guns some, and I believe they have frag as well. Five, uh, yeah, yeah, so mostly explosive, a little bit of hardening, and some fragmentation. And it also has these little fixed guns on the side here. It has eight of them, four on each side. These are a little bit bigger, seven, 1724, mostly explosive, and fragmentation. So. Just a little extra broadside there, and it's covered in these little smaller guns. We've got these little 120mm here, 36mm there, 120, 36, another 36 up here. So it's covered in the smaller guns as well. It's even got the pair of little auto cannons up here, which is really cute. So. Flak and frag, is, it's got lots of guns, and it's quite well armoured. It's not as well... When you look at it beneath the waterline, you might think, Wait, what? How is this thing well armoured? Well, it has... Well... Admittedly, this outer layer isn't much. It's just two layers of wood, but the inner layer is a bit more so. See here, it has a layer of metal, another layer of metal, wood, metal, and here's the gun thing. And this air gap here means that it is surprisingly hard to kill this thing. It's a lot tougher than it might look. It has a wee bit of a gap there, it looks like. Oh, hello! Hello, you missed this bit, didn't you? Yes, you did! Okay, that's cheeky of me. So, it's actually quite tough for something mostly made of wood, and it's got lots of guns, and... Uh, what the hell have I written here? What the hell have I written here? What What is the world come to when I can't read my own crib notes? Okay, so the layout of the ship is reasonably cunning. So, 
you got two big guns over here, two big guns over here, lots of superstructure and smaller guns in the middle, and in the middle here, right in the middle, in a little heavy armor box. See, that's a surprise. Good luck trying to kill this thing dead already, unless you blow up, blow it up from underneath, which isn't really going to happen unless you're deliberately trying to make it happen. So it's got that in there, it's got guns, and it's got ammo compartments here. The important thing here, here is that the ammunition and the AI is all in the middle, and the big guns are on the ends of the thing. So anything with aim point selection is going to aim for this bit, and probably going to just waste time getting through this spaced armor right here, before trying to actually go for the vital components themselves, which are covered in heavy armor. So, and I believe, yes, so this layer of wood here will be surprisingly tough to get through because there's heavy armor right behind it, that armor stack bonus. So, all these kind of things, da -da -da. so it's cunningly laid out, lots of guns, and it also has shields. It has reasonably decent shields, actually. You might be able to hear that faint hum. And, oh yeah, it has missiles way in the front here. These are not bad missiles, it's just, well, yeah, these are just average, just general purpose missiles for, I don't know, chasing things down and blowing them up, blowing them up in midair. And it's got weird cameras and which can't see very much, but anyway. So those are its strengths. It is a reasonably big, versatile thing. So, what are the weaknesses of it? Well, all this, all these little guns here are, well, this one right here has got a range of about 6,000 meters. This one, 2,000 meters? Really? Huh, interesting. That's very interesting, because usually, in my testing, it doesn't look like these guns shoot that far. They stop testing. Hang on, allow me to show you. Allow me to show you right here what I mean. So we go way, way out here. And I will spawn a few things. Basically the first we weakness I'm trying to get at here is that uh, those anti-air systems are only really good at short range. So you see I've spawned on a ramp for there. Those missiles, I don't think, have the range to reach about 1,500 meters. You see, that's a lot of flak and frag that is missing completely. And this... So anything that is flying or traveling fast and is keeping its distance, this thing has a hard time hitting because the main guns have trouble hitting it. The missiles don't have the range. See about... Wizard. So about just short of 1,400 meters, the missiles run out of fuel, so they're not particularly long range, at least not in my book. And they don't have target prediction guidance, so the or APN guidance for that matter. So the missiles actually aren't that good against fast targets. And those little guns, the little guns aren't even firing at the moment, so. Well, they are, actually. Never mind. Whoa, that's loud. So... So, the AA is not good at long distance, so if you are worried about your planes having trouble with this thing, this thing can only really... Yeah. This thing can only really deal with aircraft that is right over it, which is, well, not ideal, really. Do, do, do. And in terms of durability, it is mostly made of wood. So even little torpedoes like what's on the ramp for are getting through here. They are peeling off layers bit by bit. And this thing has no submarine defense. It has no torpedoes of its own, as far as I'm aware. So you see, whoa, that was a big explosion. So you see in the front here, no torpedoes. Two rudders though, very clever way over here. It basically has no way to deal with underwater threats, which means that submarines will take this thing to pieces, no problem. And usual usual weaknesses of anything mainly armed with cram cannons, not good against fast targets, not good against things armed with 
well, armed, equipped with lambs, so laser missile defense will just blow these shells clean out of the water, even though it has a broadside volley of about uh, 14 of them, and they're big shells too. And this thing, because this thing is made of wood, it is surprisingly light. Whoop. You've collected sterns well, my shippy. What? Huh. Didn't realize there was a thing in there. Anyway, so, because this thing is light, I don't know if there's mass around here anyway. Mass is around 7,700. Compare that to a ship of similar cost. I'm just gonna load in one of my ships. Do, 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 do. So load in a Naga just for comparison. The mass of a Naga is around 80, is almost 9,000. And the Naga is a quite a, is quite light, really. Like ships get a lot heavier than this. Also realize the Naga is a bit longer than this. Huh, interesting. So anyway, get the hell out of your Naga. This episode is not about you. So it does tend to get bounced around by big explosions a lot, particularly once uh, more blocks have been shot off and it gets lighter. And which is honestly. Not that much of a bad thing because big explosions bouncing the thing around mean that the ship's less likely to get hit by more big explosions. And the t ah, here's a critical weakness of this: the timed few. Will you stop repairing while I'm talking? There we go. So the timed fuses of these guns is the default, which is a bit of an issue because the default is. Very short. So, this is clearly a ship made to fight things at close range. Well, I say that. The AI settings it has, I think, are set to start its broadside quite early, so quite far out. So, it's a time from launch, 10 seconds. Which means that when its guns are firing, if the shell is airborne from, for 10 seconds, it'll explode. So,. So we are about... Not a, not a good test, let's try that again. Let's fire up into the stratosphere. I am not very good at this. God damn it. Although I guess this is a good way to show off just how powerful these guns are. Explosive damage, almost 15,000. And when it explodes, we'll see how far away from the ship we are. We are just short of 1,500 meters away from the ship, so anything more than that, anything that is a greater distance than one and a half kilometers away, it can't actually hit them with its main guns. So if you want to kill this thing, one way to do it is just keep your distance, don't get close, which is, well, not a bad strategy with most things with cram cannons. And the other weakness it has is that it has no smoke defense, and it has no, in and it has, well, it has no real missile defense to speak of. I think it has flares. I can't quite remember where they are, or if they're anywhere, really. If I do this, doop, 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 doop. Yep, it has no flares. Although the thing did just eat a flying squirrel, my goodness. See, so a flying squirrel can't kill this thing, that's for sure. But it has no flares, it has no missile defense at all. So missiles, actually a really good way to kill this thing. Again, made of wood, frag missiles tear straight through it, torpedoes tear straight through the hole. And what else? Well, that's basically it for its weaknesses. It's got a lot of weaknesses. Basically, most of its weaknesses could just be fixed by just adding missile defense and making the whole thing out of metal. But uh, it's a faction craft. 
and frankly wood looks good that's the rule I live by and as for how to kill it as I said before it is a deep water guard craft and the deep water guard is kind of the tutorial faction so you're rather spoiled for choice with how to destroy this thing but uh, the best way to do it is well firstly submarines are perfect against this thing it has no submarine defense so I'm just going to go over here a thousand meters away and spawn a hostile iguana I really need to build a new submarine really I do really I do do do, -do on next watch where am I at actually no I'll show off the penguin the, I like the penguin it's a silly little design tiny well very small cheap submarine and as you can probably tell this thing can't even detect submarines let alone shoot at it so that's one way to deal with it and no torpedo defense and since its hull is made of wood ouch so where is the penguin main guns didn't even get close and it's down two percent health just from one torpedo volley so that's certainly one way to do it. We all healthy? Yes, we are. And so, what works particularly well against this thing is anything high explosive, because once again, it's mostly made of wood. The it's got a it's got a lot of metal in its construction as well, but it's kind of only here and there. And as I've said before, explosions tend to whoa. Okay. Cheers. Uh, yeah, yeah. Explosions tend to wrap around hard points, so if an explosion hits right here on this bit of metal, it's going to kind of warp through and go straight in here and pop this anyway. So, explosions, well, essentially blow the thing up. Also, frag works well. The only thing, really, things that don't really work well is just pure kinetics. So, pure kinetic shells will just bounce off the shields this thing has, and it doesn't worry, really work that well. That is the saying. Where are the shields? How well shielded is this thing? Because I'm going to go out on a limb and say that they're not actually as well shielded as you might think. See, I'm listening for the thing now. Aha! So if I do this... Okay, so... It's not so much that the shields are good, they just are kind of strong. 4.5 strength, set to reflect. So, going broadside with this thing, with pure kinetics, won't work, but if you attack it from the front or from behind, which is a good idea anyway, because this is a clearly like built from the ground up to be a broadside and craft. Do that, you'll be fine. Or just don't use aim point selection. I don't. I never use aim point selection. It's too easy to fool. So deep. Yep. So pure kinetics will probably still work. Provided that you are canny about where you aim it. And as for lasers and particle cannons and that kind of stuff, this thing has no defense against lasers, so that goes without saying. And just to give a live fire demonstration of that, in fact, I know what's coming next, so I'm gonna take the liberty of jumping out of the ship. It's also, this thing gets major style points, though, despite all the ribbing I'm giving it, because it is a gorgeous thing. This is possibly one of the most battleshipy well as they say on the internet the most battleshipy battleship in the game honestly it's hard to imagine a more battleshipy looking battleship now i'm going to ditch in the water and just for fun i guess we're going to spawn a ship loaded with lasers to tear it apart so what's a good ship on with lasers the megawatt So you see, any decent laser is just going to make blocks cascade off this thing. And another thing, anything with a decent LAM system will be able to deal with its missiles. 
And possibly it's cram guns as well, except the megawatt is too close. So there's a lesson in there is uh, don't get close to this thing. Because it looks like the crossbows is going to win now. Not gonna lie, I really, really like when Lightning Hood ships get destroyed because they're f they are fond of using all the things that I find really annoying in this game. Lasers, particle cannons, shields, all those things. It just, it's like... I perhaps haven't said this enough that I quite like the crossbones. I just, I just like it. I like big guns and I kind of lie. But I guess uh, this wouldn't be a proper, like, you know, most wanted thing without the crossbones actually dying, would it? And by the sound of it, yeah, it has steam engines. So when the steam engines get done in, this thing runs out of power quite quickly. Interestingly, the engines are highly exposed by the looks of it. Or they're just there for decoration, that too. So yeah, let's go... where is it? Let's go way over here and spawn something that can kill it. And we're gonna spawn in one of my ships just for giggles. So yeah, that's uh, From the Depths, Most Wanted, The Crossbones. Watch the Naga get uh, mildly shredded, and hopefully we'll get to see how this thing gets bounced around by high explosives. Ah, see what I mean? And there goes a gun. And it's not an entirely fair fight because the Naga is more expensive than the crossbones. But that's the thing, you've just... That's the main thing about the crossbones, is just explode it. Explode it faster than it explodes you. So, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And I will see you next time in From the Depths. Most Wanted, farewell!